Hello and in this video we are going to discuss a very important concept of compliment. So I will be discussing first what do we mean by a compliment and then we will straight away understand how to find complement of one digit numbers. Then I will introduce you a very important rule which is known as all from 9 and last from 10 and this rule will be very helpful to find complements of numbers which are greater than one digit or for that matter you can apply this rule for any n digit number and then using this rule we will try to find out the complement of two digit numbers and in the next video I would expand this method to cover any arbitrarily long digit number to find out its complement. So let us get started. What is a complement? A complement simply tells how far a number is from the nearest base of 10. That is what essentially it is. How far is it? So let me try to explain this using example and we'll straight away try to find out the complement of one digit number. So let us take a simple number. Let us say that we take a number 6 and I want to find out the complement of this number. So what is the nearest base of 10 for this number? So the nearest base of 10 for 6 is actually 10 itself, right? This is the 10 is the nearest base. Now, as per the definition of comple uh, complement, we have to find out how far is this number from 10. So a simple way to do it is, is simply to subtract 6 from 10 and we will get 4. So 4 is the complement of 10 and the way to look at it in another way is that if you add a number and its complement you will always get the base that for which you have found the complement so for example 6 plus 4 gives you 10 so now let us try to find complement of other numbers so let me just try to write we have a number and we'll try to find out the complement of that number So let's start with 2. What is the complement of 2? So 10 minus 2 gives you 8, therefore 8 is the complement of 2. Complement of 3 would be 7 because 3 plus 7 gives us 10. Now remember that for one digit number the base is going to be 10. What would be the complement for 4? We already found it earlier, it is 6. What is the complement for 5? And I think the answer is obvious, it is 5 itself. So 5 is same distance from its complement, right? 5, 5. Now 6. Now we already, now you would see that an interesting pattern would emerge. So the moment you say the complement of 6, it is 4 and you can just correlate it over here. So 4's complement is 6, so 6 complement is 4, it holds true. Similarly, if you go for 7, the complement of 7 is 3. If you take 8, the complement of that is 2 and if you take 9 the complement of that is 1. So this tells us about the complement of single digit number. Now let us try to understand how do we find the complements of two digit numbers. So the complements of two digit numbers. And as usual, we will just take up an example to understand this. Now let us say that we have to find the complement of 84. Find the complement of 84. So we have to find out how far the number is from the nearest base of 10. Now what is going to be the base of 10 which is nearest to 84? A simple rule is you find out the number of digits in a number and that will help you to find out the nearest base. So if here we have two digits, so you write one followed by two zeros and that gives you the nearest base of 10 for 84 which is 100. So 100 is the nearest base for 84. Now we have to find out how far is this 84 from 100. How far is it? So let's look at the conventional method. The conventional method would say that we would have to subtract 84 from 100 to be able to find out how far is 84 from 100 and when I do the subtraction I would do it the conventional way I have to 
borrow 1 from here and 10 minus 4 gives me 6 whereas 9 minus 8 gives me 16. So the complement of 84 is 16. Now if you look at this, th th this example we can try to generalize finding complement for a n digit number but right now we'll apply it only to a two digit number and this generalization is what is known as all from 9 and last from 10 method so when I say all from 9 I would like to add subtract So I would say subtract all digits from 9 and last from 10 to obtain the complement. Complement. So now let us try to solve the same example using all from 9 and last from 10. And another thing you have to keep in mind is that we do this procedure moving from left to right this is another thing to keep in mind moving from left to right so if I were to solve this using the complement method 84 all from 9 and last from 10 so this is the left side the number all from 9 so you start the first number is you have to subtract this from 9 9 minus 8 gives me 1 and this is the last number so this last from 10 so it gives you 10 minus 4 is 6 straight away now as you can appreciate it is nothing but a generalization that we have made from this you can see if you have any number you would get 9 and essentially we are just generalizing that to help us to find the complement quickly and now let us try to solve some examples and understand how this generalization helps us to find the complements very quickly so let me say that we have a number and we are supposed to find its complement okay and we have to use the all from 9 and the last from 10 method okay so what we do over here is let's say the number is 95 very simple all from 9 last from 10 so the first one uh, we, we go from left to right I'll keep on reiterating this so that this gets clearer so 9 minus 9 is 0 and last from 10 10 minus 5 is 5 now let's look at the another number 36 9 minus 3 is 6 and 10 minus 6 is 4 another number 28 9 minus 2 is 7 10 minus 8 is 2 if you have 88 9 minus 8 is 1 10 minus 8 is 2 if you have 67 9 minus 6 is 3 and 10 minus 7 is 3 what if you have 52 9 minus 5 is 4 and 10 minus 2 is 8 so as you can see very quickly we just got the complements using subtract all from 9 and last from 10 to obtain the complement so in the next video I will show you how to find the complement of three digit numbers using this and then we will generalize this method for any number of digits in a number and how to find the complement for that see you